On the day after El Alamein, spirits were high. The Germans were on the run. The British and American armies were racing after them. And for a moment in time, war seemed like a glorious game. Hawksnest, this is Hawk Sugar Tom. Angels 5 over Katora Flats. Hawksnest, go ahead. Hey, Thompson. I'm running a little low on gas. Isn't there a British fuel base in this sector? What would you do without me, Lieutenant Culpepper? <laughs> From Katera Flats, steer 030 degrees. Roger! Tell the boys I'll be home for lunch. P-40, with 20 millimeters and a bomb rack. Where's the pub? Uh, nothing like that out here, sir. The officer commanding would like to see you right away. Why? Well, he didn't say, sir, but I suppose he wants to brief you on your target. My target? It's a minefield, actually. Uh, the Germans laid it somewhere around here to protect their flank. We're not sure exactly where, uh, but it's not a new field, so with the sand settling, it should be possible to find it and spot it from the air. You want me to find a minefield? Uh, find it and destroy it. Yeah. The mines are interconnected. One good explosion should clear the entire field. And you want it done now? I mean, today? Why not? Frankly, old man, since the Germans have pulled back, it is a bit of a hazard. Uh, for whom? Uh, there's nobody within miles of that sector. Well, there's always the chance that some of our Arab friends may come wandering through. And if one of them happened to get blown up in liberated territory, well... Cairo feels it might prove a trifle embarrassing. Sir, I'm a pursuit pilot, not a minesweeper. Besides, I've been flying around the clock in that plane. I know, Culpepper. Your commanding officer was telling me about your splendid sense of duty. You cleared with him? I just got off the phone. Oh. Well, uh... Why me? You got a P-40 sitting right there. Well, that's true, but you see, unfortunately, it hasn't got a bomb rack. It's one of the older models you Americans sent us on land lease. Okay, fine, fine, fine. You want my plane? You can have it. I'll take yours. <laughs> I don't think your CO would think very kindly of that, would he, McMillan? No, sir. Americans are very sticky about that sort of thing. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Culpepper. I forgot to introduce a fellow countryman of yours, squadron leader Arnold McMillan from... Where the devil are you from, Mac? Wichita, Kansas, sir. Hi, Yank. Squadron Leader McMillan will be going with you, Lieutenant. He'll be your wingman, so to speak. Wingman? Well, there's lots and lots of desert out there. One wouldn't want to see you getting lost or straying from your purpose. Well, Mac, shall we get going? All right, sir. Cold pepper. Sally Ho. Man, I never had a keeper before. Just your regular duty, or you and your boss drum this one up for laughs. You know something, Carl Pepper? You could very easily get to be a bleeding boar. Uh, that make you feel like hot stuff talking like that? Like what? Bleeding boar, tally ho. Well, I do it to annoy you. I believe it. What are you doing in the RAF anyway? 
Joined Eagle Squadron in 39. You are gung-ho. You got in the war early, didn't you? I had my reasons. After no further questions, should we make a show of it, old boy? Yeah. Oh, and, and look, uh, once we're in the air, a lot of things can happen. I mean, it's not going to change the war one way or the other if I were to bug out and head back to Cairo. Wouldn't change the war at all. I'd just have to shoot you down. are swooping over that coastal highway tonight while the forces of the 8th Army continue their rush westward in an effort to outflank and overwhelm the driven foe. Rommel is on the run. On the coast road that leads to Mersa and the Egyptian frontier, the traffic of this wounded army is heading west under a blaze of bombs. From their position along the 40-mile front of Alamein, his beaten forces are in full retreat. A special communique in Cairo tonight states that we have taken 9,000 prisoners since October 23rd. Among them is General Ritter von Thoma, commander of the Africa Corps, and a number of other senior German and Italian officers. The enemy's losses in tanks total 260. More than 270 of his guns have been captured or destroyed. More than 300 of his warplanes have been knocked out in the air, and as many more on the ground since Allied air forces launched their offensive against his desert airfield. General von Stumma, who is believed to have been in command during Rommel's absence in Germany, was killed in battle. In one sector of the front, enemy casualties were so heavy Attention, Panther base. This is Panther leader. Come in. Not the base. We have been attacked. Fighter, fighter planes. We have casualties. Sixth Division headquarters break radio silence. This is Panther Leader on the emergency frequency. Come in, I say. Come in. Hello, Panther Leader. Anything we can do? Who is this? Corporal Hughes, British 8th Army. Might say the rest of your chaps have skipped out on you. Clear this frequency, at once. Why, Fritzy, your 6th Division's been run halfway into Libya, along with the rest of your early Africa Corps. Haven't you got the word? Here now, where are you? Tell us, we'll come pick you up. Go to the devil. Come, come, don't take a fan.
little shower waiting for me back at Cairo. Keep looking. Sergeant. Oh. Lieutenant. Huh. An afternoon. Sir? What is your unit? That's her brigade, 6th Panzer Division, sir. 6th Division. Thank God. Good to see you all. Very good. So, what are you doing in this sector? So, we... So we are lost. I take full responsibility. Where's the rest of your squadron? Captured, sir. Or dead. I see. Well, then we will fight with what we have. Panther. Ah, splendid old girl. She will see us through anything. So, how is your petrol? Water? Ammunition? Petrol is one half, sir. And the canteen water is low, but we have reserve tanks trapped to the side. And ammunition? Plenty of ammunition, sir. You did not fire at all? So we were in reserve. All units were ordered to retreat. Ah, yes, of course. And the radio working? Just the receiver, sir. Let me have a look. I trust we will enjoy each other's company. It's a miracle. An officer who knows what he is doing. Yes, Becca, I think he qualifies. Fight with what we have. Does he really believe that? Of course he does. Don't you know who that is? No, who? His name is Beimler. Ernst Beimler? General Ernst Beimler, our division commander. Hey, what's that? What's what? On the deck. Ten o'clock. I don't see anything. 